it's been a while since I've had to do this in the morning. Bag of hot water. Best way to demist your windscreen or de ice your windscreen. No scratching, no scraping, no ruining your glass. Man, this ice is thick. Look at it. The whole street's whited out. Morning everyone. <clears throat> it's a Saturday. Uh, what are we at? 7.01, just on my way down to the shop. Just going to take it slowly down here because it is thick ice. <laughs> and we don't want to be a big Mercedes sized accident at the bottom. That house has already had enough abuse from people hitting it. We don't want to be number two. <clears throat> so today we've got uh, Vauxhall Astra coming in. It's having a Pioneer Active sub and amp. And then we've got to do colour coded parking sensors on it for him. So that'd be a good one. And then Gary is coming down with his T5. We did a Pioneer unit in it uh, a little while ago um, and now he's coming back in for the Kenwood 10.1 which is going to be a bit exciting and I hope he's excited because it is such a such a good unit he's going to be chuffed the moon is still out we're still like quite early this morning but I thought I'd get coffee and breakfast sorted get off to work do some tidying up get ready for the day ahead it's going to be a busy one uh, subscribers, we're at uh, 2388, we've gone up again, loads of new people commenting on the section, so well done boys, morning if you're new, hello, welcome along. Drifting a free tan van, we don't want to be doing that this morning. Um, we are due snow today, um, the weather this morning says we are going to get a flurry. I don't know whether that means it's going to become heavy or stick or whatnot, we shall see. But at the minute, the skies are certainly clear, so the wind will have to pick up a little bit to move the clouds in. And or hopefully no rain, because that will just make the ice a little bit treacherous. But we are currently at zero degrees. I don't know whether you can see the dash from back there. Something nice about being up this time in the morning when there's nothing on the road. Oh, very little. <clears throat> right, I'm going to enjoy myself. Not in that sense. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy some music and get off to work. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> right then, guys. Got our first one in this morning. A uh, little Astra. Um, this is having Pioneer Sub and PVC parking sensors at the back. It's done some lovely, tasteful, tasteful mods himself. So we've got to get bumper off. We'll start doing the parking sensors first, get them color coded, um, and then we'll move on to the Pioneer sub. It's got some nice effect, carbon effects on the dash. Got some wrapping. Uh, but I've got the parking sensors and paint up there, so we'll get uh, removal of the bump, and then get the uh, sensors painted, get them fitted, get this thing off. Right, I'll come back to you in a bit. See you soon. Right then dudes, wrestle with the number plate. <laughs> Bloody thing was hiding two bolts, two, uh, two seven mils. So there we go, there's our first stamp. You see that little section, the square and the, uh, and the cross in the middle of it? That's one. Number two is there. 
number three just there and then number four just there so we'll get these areas cleaned up put our bolt thing through the uh through the bumper and then we'll start color coding the silver gray yeah that color see you in a bit Right then guys, so we've got our sensor heads painted. Obviously you can touch the outside bit here to see how hard the paint is first without actually touching the sensor before we stick it. Now, they do have an up and a down and it says on the back there which way the sensor must be pointing. So it will always be horizontal like this and then it will have an up or an up depending on which way around the marking is. Now, what I like to do, because I think it's a bit nicer, is just get your finger and wipe off there is a like a rubber ring around the outside of this. Just get your finger, wipe off the excess paint because it's never going to sit on the rubber and stay on the rubber. But when it's through the bumper, it gives you like a nice uniform black ring around the center, which just makes it look a bit more OE when it's poking through. It just looks nicer. OK, and then we'll look on the back. All right up is that way. <coughs> so we'll go to our hole right so when he's stuck on I can basically twist the back of the parking sensor and it will push the sensor head through the bumper or not until I get it perfectly flat and then you see what I mean about that black ring you end up with a nice finish to the sensor now it's color coded same silver so that's it we'll get all of these put in and I'll come back to you in a minute <coughs> Right, so we've got all our sensor heads in. Um, now what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but I tend to go round the pad with some silicon, just to give the edges of the sticky pad a fighting chance. It is winter, the air is moist. So just to lock out that little bit of moisture while the glue dries over time, there's no harm in it. You don't have to do this, but I strongly recommend you do. Safeguarding your install. You don't want to be taking this off for the fact that the sensor's just dropped out after you fitted it. it makes you look like a bit of a plum. So we'll just go around all of these edges. I'm using uh, this black instant gasket, but it does the same thing. 
Just like RTV, really. There you go. Wipe off the end. And then pop the lid back on. Right, now, you've obviously seen me make up my loom, which we've got A to B, sorry, A to D. Jesus Christ, alphabet rules. And there's our sensor heads. So, we've got one, two, three, four, all looking very OE. We're just gonna flip the bumper, tag on our wiring harness. I found a grommet on the way into the car as well. So we'll just wire the bumper, fit it back on, run the cable in, and then we just gotta do the powers. And then this one's, <coughs> well this part of it is done, and then we can move on to the sub. See you in a bit. So we're just using a caramel wheel to get all the old residue off of the plate, and then we'll clean it and restick the number plate with some fresh pads, get that on there. Here's a lip tip. So, um, we've got our reverse light here, which is the green and white. Now Vauxhall, in their infinite wisdom, when they put stuff through the car, they like to make everything black. So you have no way of knowing which is which. So what we do, we get our meter, put it on continuity, and then what we're gonna do, Get yourself a very sharp knife, like this. You attach the other end of your probe to your knife. And what we're gonna do is gently run the blade, sharp blade, across the black wire. When we find the green one, the continuity will give us a beep. We're not interrupting cable, we're not severing cable, we're not opening it up and then having to tape it back up. We can just cut until we feel the metal and if we get a beep, we know we found the reverse signal. The only thing is you've got to keep in mind which ones you've done, which ones you haven't done. Without cutting your finger. Can be a little bit fiddly. But we'll get there. Obviously we can disregard the massive ones because it isn't any of those. So, there we go. So this one here, ready? There we go. So we know that that one there is the wire that we need to connect to. Now I can only, instead of running all my cable through this tailgate, which is in the metal work, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, I can run my connection straight up to here and just tap onto that one wire. So that's that. <sighs> Easy as that. So now we can strip it back and that's the one we want the rest of the cables left intact. Simple, right? Here we go, everyone. So, as you can see, sensors are in. This is finding this. But if I walk closer to it, Cool, right? There we go, color-coded sensors. Now let's fit a sub and amp. Right then, sorry about that one, everyone I had to rattle on. We were getting a bit behind on time, so um, the camera went down and Alex got his work on. So, Astra's done. I've just fitted the sub. So we've got uh, the Pioneer Active 12 with all these bits and bobs there. All blue illuminated means it's got power. Um, it's running in through the head unit. Now these screens on the Vauxhalls, the system basically has the screen here and the head unit is actually behind here, stood upwards in the corner. So it's actually under here, but it sounds all right. We've got bass, it will be happy with that. And we've got parking sensors all working. Um, the color code is really good. Silver's a nice match. I'm loving that. 
Right, let's give him a shout. Go and pick him up. I'm sure he's miles away. Right then, everyone. So then we're on to Gary's bus. I can't show you the outside because it's sign written. So we did this a little while ago. Uh, CarPlay Android Auto JVC. And obviously now we're upgrading to the bad boy over there on the floor, the 10.1 Kenwood. So we're going to strip out this thing. Um, put in the, the cage and everything ready for the Kenwood. Change the microphone and stuff. That's all got to come out. Um, new USBs. Uh, harness is still the same. But we're going to change that and get ready for his new toy. And I can't wait for him to see it. It's going to freak out like a child. See you in a bit. Right, everyone. God, you know what? You know I'm a big Pioneer guy. I love my Pioneer. But this thing, do you know what? It just makes me weak at the knees. I'm just so besotted with this unit. So this is Gary's, obviously we've gone for the Kenwood 10.1, got rid of the JVC. Um, so we've got his reverse camera on there, steering controls, all of the fun stuff working, you know, Apple CarPlay and stuff will get set up when he comes in. Rear camera, that's all working when he goes for a reverse. Change the microphone, so we've got the Kenwood one in. Rerouted all the cable and stuff, new USB in the glove box. But man, does this look good. And he's got piano black on the fascia as well, which just makes the whole thing even nicer. But what a difference this is now from being sat back in the dash where you couldn't really see it. I do love this unit. I want another one. I'm going to have to order one. Oh, Kenwood. Such a cool unit. Fair play. Well then dudes, oh, let's give you a clean. Let's get packed up for the day. Oh, oh, it's chilly out. Very, very cold. But, oh, excuse me. Right, let's get the old boy in. Uh, so yeah, Gary's picked up his car, van. Hopefully he gets on well with that 10.1. And it's now got me thinking I need another one. <laughs> it's such an awesome bit of kit. It really is cool. If Kenwood did a European map add-on so that I could have it for the, uh, the van when we go abroad. I think I'd definitely consider getting another one. The only reason I keep the Pioneer is because they do a mapping add-on so I can have European mapping without data charges. That's the only thing that kind of turns me off. Um, oh, Jesus Christ, it's cold. That's got to be about no degrees. van warmed up for the trip home so everything finished we got the Astra done parking sensors um, the sub then Gary's car with a 10 um, I was supposed to do the JVC that we took out of his car I was supposed to put it in his uh, I think it's his son's Corsa but I got the wrong face kit sent and I didn't realize till it was too late so my fault on that one Gary apologized I will get it sorted though for you. I'll have to order that Monday. But time to go home, warm up, cut up a video for you lovely lot. Oh, police. I haven't even left yet, fellas. It wasn't me. Um, chill out. But other than that, I uh, don't think anything's happening tonight. Obviously the night is still so young. So, never say never. But I've got no uh, no plans to be out and about. But that could change. Could always change. But I will see you <coughs> if I don't. 
I will see you if I don't see you later. Bright and early Monday morning for some more fun and games. If you're out tonight, have a good weekend. Be safe. See you Monday morning, boys. Ta-da.